Good job. We're together all the time, 24-7. She goes everywhere with me. We'll grow old together. They're just the best of friends. Jess just loves her and Lexi will come to the gate and she wags her tail. It's just really beautiful. There's so love will never die. Got you, love. Good girl. Give. Oh, good give. Good dog. They're known as man's best friend. Got a kiss for dad? Kiss. Oh, good kiss. Good girl. But dogs like Bronte are much more than that. She is inherently intelligent. It's remarkable. 33-year-old Matt Michael was just 21 when he was injured in a skiing accident on the Murray. One way or another, I, I uh, met with the sandbank on the bottom of the river and, and with a quite a loud crunch and, you, and you're very sure, you very much know what has just happened to you. You're very aware. It left him a quadriplegic, bound to a wheelchair and without the use of his upper limbs. For a sprightly, self-confessed daredevil, it made life pretty tough. People have to help me eat. I don't get to prepare my meal. There's very little personal things in a disabled quadriplegic's life. That was until a furry friend came along. Bronte find. There's a good girl. Big find. Good dog. Big find. Bronte find. Yeah, good dog. The dog just moulded to me and moulded into my lifestyle once he came into my home. Good girl. Anything I drop, she can retrieve and put on my lap and put on my desk. Lap. Good dog. Give. Oh, you are a clever girl. Anything from notes of paper through to the keys for the door to down to something out of the fridge. Um, pretty much anything, really. Open the doors and let me outside for the day. Bronte, find. Tug. Big tug. Good girl. It's nice to have something that is mine. She's mine. Roll over. For Jane Kelderman and daughter Jessica, Lexi offers more than just a helping hand. They have this very special thing happening between them. And when Jessica goes away, Lexi sulks, really. Every dog's different, just as every person is. So we put a fair bit of work into matching the right dog with the right person. They're called assistance dogs, not to be confused with guide dogs. And in the short time they've been around, the charity's made a remarkable difference to people's lives. CEO Richard Lord. We call ourselves the new dogs on the block because we're training uh, service dogs that help people with a physical disability. An extra pair of hands, uh, they're also your best mate, but they're also a uh, safety device as well. Our dogs are trained to bark on command. Being on your own for 11 hour period at night while you're sleeping with no one else in the home and laying there on your own, both for safety, by company, and it's just nice to have someone there to talk to or listen to snore or she does a good job of that. <laughs> and not answer back. It does not, you can tell her off for snoring, doesn't even get upset about it. <laughs> it's a rewarding role, but not every pup has the brains or personality to make it. Puppy, come here. 11-week-old golden retriever Puppy is clearly still learning the ropes. Hopefully in the next 16 to 18 months he'll learn eight basic commands um, and not pick up any phobias or um, bad habits along the way. Puppy raiser Belinda Webb has the task of taking this cutie wherever she goes. So far he's lapping up the attention. He comes to work with me, he goes to the sport that I play, um, I play softball, he goes there. Um, friends' houses, uh, puppy school, um, yeah basically everywhere I go he goes. Interstate, many puppies are trained in prisons as part of the prisoners' rehabilitation. It's so a great benefit not only for us to get more dogs, but everyone tells us it's the, the best re rehabilitation program that they've seen in the uh, correctional centres. From there, the dogs are taken to the National Training Centre and taught the tougher tasks. Switch. Yes, good boy. Then the clever canines are passed on to their new owners. We give the dogs away free of charge. Uh, there's an investment of over $25,000 in each dog. And once you get the dog, the service doesn't stop there. We train the dog with the person. We can make a difference to someone's life. Little puppy will graduate and become an official canine carer in about 18 months. Come on, puppy. Come on. Come on, little one. Once he does, there's no doubt he'll make the world of difference to someone who needs it most. He truly is your best friend. Oh, they really are. They change your life in more ways than you can fathom.